Adding slope to the building pads. Sometimes we need to add slope to the, uh, so that we have some drainage uh, off of our building pads. So I'm going to put a garage down in here. In my garage, I want to have it slope so the water doesn't sit in the garage on the garage floor. I want it to slope out towards the front of the garage door. So I'm going to first create a building pad. So I'm going to go up to the model site, create a building pad. And yeah, I'll save the project. And uh, next, I'm going to create a rectangle pad. And I'm going to pick a starter right about here. And I'm going to create uh, a 30, uh, let's go a 30 feet by 30, let's go 32 feet. And I'll put it right there. And now I've created my pad. Over here, I have a slope arrow. When I click on the slope arrow, it'll ask me to enter the start point. I want to go from the back of the uh, garage. I'm going to pick the midpoint. And I'm going to put the tail there. I'm going to drag it forward. It builds a blue line. And it has a pink arrowhead for the head. So the tail is where we started. The head is, is where the arrowhead is. I'm going to go to the other midpoint here. You can see I have this arrow here. Um, now, when I come over here into my properties palette, I can do this two ways. I can determine the height of the tail, how high this point is right here, and uh, I can go with you know an offset here, and then the height of the uh, head and what the offset is. So essentially in this case I have a one foot drop. The front is lower. This is lower by one foot. Well that's quite a bit for a garage floor to be tilting one foot. I could change this just by coming in here and clicking another value. Now I could also go and hit the down arrow and there's two methods of doing this. I go by slope and the slope then is coming down here and it says, ah, oh, here's the height of my offset. I can come down here and say, you know, I only want it to go one inch on every 12 feet, uh, one inch on every 12 inches. And I can apply that. So I have a one on 12 slope. Um, so, uh, and that's still quite a bit of slope, actually. Um, so I could actually come in and say, well, you know, uh, maybe I don't want quite that much. Uh, I really only want to go like with a quarter inch on 12 inches and uh, which is quite a bit uh, generally we want water to drain at about an eighth inch to a quarter inch uh, per 12 inches uh, somewhere in that but I'll hit apply and now I have the, t the, t the pad is tilted from my left to the right with the left side being higher than the right and it's going to have a slope on it of a quarter inch equals a foot. And when I'm done, I hit the finish edit mode and it builds my building pad in here. And I can come back out here and I can look at it in 3D and there's my building pad.